Good evening, folks. Silver here. Today's story is a lesson in trust and desire. Never let it consume you, for you never know quite what it might cost you. What about our protagonist? Let's find out. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of you that will listen to these stories are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying this, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later. With that, enjoy the story. I could feel her teeth on my neck, biting down, nibbling ever so softly. The stars illuminated the night sky. The blood pumped quickly through my veins and stimulated a rush of adrenaline which coursed through my body. Her white gown and pale face gave her a ghastly appearance, but the connection I felt with the girl was the first of its kind that I would felt for what seemed like an eternity. Ever since I had been stranded on this island with nothing but the clothes on my back, I have had to live off the land without another soul to accompany me. She crawled on top of me, staring into my eyes with hers. They too gleamed, just as the stars did, and the light reflecting from her blue pupils was the most mesmerizing sight I'd ever seen. She pressed her teeth against my neck slightly harder, and then unexpectedly pulled away. She brushed her luscious brown hair back and smiled. Oh, you poor soul, stranded on this inescapable island, with not a friend to appreciate you. How does it feel now? To have one such as I to appreciate your magnificence. How does it feel to know the marks of love which I have brought upon you tonight and for many moons further? I looked up at her. From my viewpoint, she was the most dashing and beautiful lady I'd ever seen. Perhaps her features were exaggerated within my mind, for it had been quite some time since I'd laid my eyes upon a woman. I remember waking up not long before that very moment to the sound of faint whispering. And there she was. As soon as I saw her, I fell into a trance, unable to truly act of my own accord. And yet, I was enjoying myself. How could I complain about my current situation? I hadn't felt such love and compassion for the longest time. It feels magnificent, my lady. I thought for sure that, once I was stranded here, I would never see another human being again. And yet, here I am now before you. And now that you're here... I am content." She seemed pleased to hear this, for her eyes widened and a strange purring sound emitted from her throat. She placed the palm of her hand against my chest and closed her eyes, seemingly sensing my heartbeat. I could feel my body, transcending any feeling I'd ever felt before. A warm sensation surrounded my entire body, and I couldn't help but close my eyes once more. I felt her lips against my shoulder firmly yet softly pressing against my skin. Where did she come from? How did she get here? Who was she? What did I care? She gave me what I wanted, and in my eyes, she could do no wrong. Again she spoke, her voice soft and mellow. I could feel my body drift into a sensation of pleasure and comfort. The closest I could go as far as describing it would be, would be to imagine being completely surrounded by dozens of cotton sheets and blankets, each one more welcoming and cozy than the last. Tell me, of all things in this universe, what is it that you desire the most? I tried thinking. I tried to remember what I truly wanted. Did I want to go home? Did I want to escape this island and find my way back to my friends and family? I swear, I couldn't remember for the life of me. You. I desire you. I want you. I need you, my lady, more than anything in the universe," I said. I didn't believe my words. I couldn't believe that which I spoke then, for they weren't my thoughts. But my actions betrayed my thoughts. How could it be? I struggled to correct myself, but the warmth and comfort surrounding me restrained me from doing so. This felt wrong, and something within me knew it. The real me knew it, but the woman's beauty had put me in a trance, and I no longer represented myself. My control was slipping away. Then you shall receive what you desire, man, replied the woman. I could hear a slight shift of tone in her voice. That sweet, soft melody prior to this moment sounded different. Rather now, I could hear a giddy excitement to her voice. My response had been exactly what she had hoped for, and probably what she expected. She clutched my hair and pulled my head upwards towards her. I tried ever so desperately to pull away, but 
It was to no avail. I could only nudge myself a few inches back, but no more. She placed a finger on my lip and tilted my head up with her hand, looking deep into my eyes. Her silky white skin appeared clearer and fairer than before, and her previously dull red lips now appeared to have become more colourful. I saw her open her mouth once more, revealing a row of gorgeous white teeth. She leaned in and placed them on my neck once more, sucking. It felt amazing even better than before. But then she bit a little harder, and she continued to apply force until I could feel the skin break. I didn't wince in pain. I didn't even react. I just stayed there, perfectly still on the ground. She pulled away once more and looked at me, lips curled in a sick smile. So, did you like it? Do you still desire me? Do you want more of my love? She inquired. Yes. Don't stop. Never stop. I desire your love more than all that which exists. I responded. I couldn't believe it. My voice was completely void of emotion, and lies spilled out of my mouth. I didn't want this. Again, I tried my hardest to pull away, but as soon as she glared into my eyes, I stopped. The sickest, most perverted giggle erupted from within her as she went back down to my neck. I felt her dig into my neck, applying even more force this time. I could feel the blood trickling down into her mouth. I could hear her lapping it up and returning to my neck once more, biting harder and harder. Each time she would bury her teeth into my neck, she would come back up and smile at me, asking that same question once more. Do you desire more? And each time, I would answer with the same lie, with the same monotonous voice. Yes. I desire more. Perhaps she truly did control my actions, or perhaps her seduction really did pull the inner beast within me, causing me to lose all sense of humanity and replacing it with animalistic instinct. But each time I was forced to look into those awful, yet beautiful eyes, I could only allow her entry into me once more. I saw her, starting to rip chunks of my flesh out of my throat, trying to reach inside fully. The blood splattered on her skin and stained her dress. But oh god, how she changed. Her skin grew greyer with each droplet of my blood she consumed, and the light in her eyes dimmed as well. And each time she asked me that damn question, I could only respond in the voice and tone which I'd quickly grown to despise. Even as the blood clogged my throat and began to drown out my voice, my body persisted and insisted those gurgling words. More. 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 Please. I desire you. And I only stopped hearing my voice, once the blood drowned out my ability to speak. Her skin had darkened even further, and her dress grew filthy. Her eyes were no longer full of life. Still, her lips were red, stained with the blood she drained from my willing, yet unwilling body. Through it all, I felt the pleasure and pain intertwine, and yet I knew it was wrong. Even still, I could do nothing to stop my fate, for it was never my decision to begin with, and as my eyes fluttered and closed, the final sight I saw was the woman, who now appeared to be more of a ghoul-like creature than human. Still, she wore that same grin as she finished tearing my throat apart and feasting on my body, and then all faded to black.